Good day, and thank you for joining us in another MOOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have a look at stock take. With MOOB Advanced, you can organize physical inventory counts by cycles, ABC codes, movement classes, item classes, or stock items. You can even perform counts for randomly selected items. Nevertheless, you should occasionally undertake full inventory counts to maintain correct on-hand quantities. On every repeat of a physical count, you have to complete the following steps. At the warehouse, organize goods to prepare for counting and complete data entry for warehouse activities. Prepare accurate book quantities in the system. Create the count review document of the needed physical inventory type on the physical inventory review form and pause the processing of inventory transactions in the system. MIB Advanced will not release inventory transactions starting from the moment after you have created a count review document and the document has the counting in progress status. At the same moment, freeze your warehouse activities. At the warehouse, count the goods and register the physical quantities. Resume warehouse activities and resume the processing of inventory transactions in the system. After the counting is completed, the processing of inventory transactions can be resumed because of the book quantities are fixed in the count review document which is not affected with the next process transactions. Populate the physical quantities in the count review document. Users can enter physical quantities by using the physical inventory count form. The quantities can also be entered manually or uploaded from Excel to the physical inventory review form. Process the count review document to finalize the result and make the system generate the inventory adjustments if this is necessary. Review the generated inventory adjustment and make sure the adjustment is released and the GL transactions are posted. You need to set your physical inventory types. The choices of generation method will change depending on your MOB Advanced Edition. We will go through the stock take process using the base method of full physical inventory which will include all available items at the selected warehouse or location. Now let's go and add a new physical inventory type. In your MOB Advanced system, navigate to Inventory physical inventory and click on physical inventory types. Click on add a new record. Complete the type ID, the description and the generation method will be full physical inventory. Choose your warehouse and remember to save after you have completed all of the fields. Now let's go and prepare the physical count. Navigate to Inventory, Physical Inventory and click on Prepare Physical Count. Now let's prepare a new physical count. Select the Type ID. Once you have selected your Type ID, the other fields are updated automatically based on the warehouse type we have just created previously. On the Form Toolbar, click on Generate Physical Inventory. This will take you to the physical inventory review form. On the review form, there are three actions on the toolbar. Finish counting. When this is selected, the system will change the status of the document to data entering. This will allow inventory transactions to be released if the checkbox on the warehouse for freeze inventory when PI count is in the data entry state is unticked. Complete PI. Click this when you want to complete the data entry process. This will change the status for this review to complete it. The stock will be updated and the general ledger journals created to adjust the financial records. Cancel PI. Click this if at any time before you have completed the PI you wish to cancel document. Now, on the physical inventory review form, enter the physical quantities for each item and save your changes.
Now click on finish counting and take note that the status has changed to data entering. Click on complete BI. The status will change to completed. Let's review the physical inventory update. Go to the adjustment info tab and click on the hyperlink to the adjustment that was created. The adjustment form with the details of the changes to stock will appear. On the financial details tab, click the batch number link to the general ledger batch created for the adjustment. This will take you to the general transactions. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYB Advance through our training videos. Thank you for watching.